All right, shalom, shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakam Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well and teach well, as well as the sincere salutations to you, hopeful and lucky. All right. Okay, um, and this is a uh, article from Spirit of Havia Bashim Yashai concerning some current events regarding just the absolute um, staleness of the job market, the absolute staleness of the economy. All right. The Lord is uh, using Esau Edom to starve this place out. You know, not not giving anybody any work. Well, just there's plenty of things that can be done. Uh, you know, to benefit this place, but hey, it, it, it cannot. That that can't happen. You know, hey, if this, you know, this wound is grievous, man. This is not the same uh, America, you know, that these devils grew up in, man. You know, you got devils constantly lamenting about the price of things. These people were just fine. All right, the same people that were, uh, you know, doing all these different things. Now they're having to come out of retirement, you know, so whatever condos, whatever the case is, and there's no, there's no work, you know, there, there's nothing that the, you know, that the, uh, uh, the branch Lord Rush may do, roughly paraphrasing. That's beautiful. That's biblical prophecy. All right. Uh, this is from Yahoo Finance. U.S. hiring comes up short and possible warning sign for Fed, which of course when you have job losses, job closures, building closures, foreclosures, you know, different sales of different companies, properties, assets, you know, uh, different uh, company mergers, acquisitions, all these, you know, fancy eat of my words. You know that you 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 learn about over time. Okay, it's getting to the point where these you know these giant monopolies, you know, started off with you know maybe ten of them, and then then six now four. You know, they basically broke this place down. This this market is closed. Like you know, <laughs> but you know brothers. Who ever been to a baseball game? You know, back in the day, they had a, you know, they had the burgers. Okay, and at the end, and when all the all the burgers were sold, you know, they were out. Okay, they hang that sign up, or somebody would scream out, "Okay, shit, we we out." You know, we, you know, ain't nothing more to sell. That that's basically the point that we at. So. He at the high, at the highest levels, he's reaping his benefits. You know, these different uh, uh, banking families, international banking families. You know, record profits, and then what's happening to especially Jake? Because that's all that you know. That's the only nation that matters is the Israelites. So, what's happened to the Israelites? Hardest workers on the planet can't find work. E can't uh, 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 can't find work. E struggling. <laughs> These other nations are struggling. They're having to, uh, you know, scramble and figure out what to do. All right, why is that? Because we at the we at the end of this. Thing. We at the end of this. It's over with. All right. <clears throat> Continuing down, and also uh, stocks had its worst week all year. You know, as well, I do a video on that uh, as well. You 
U.S. hiring fell short on the forecast in August after downward revisions to the prior to the prior two months. A development likely to fuel ongoing debate over how much the Federal Reserve should cut interest rates. Yeah, so these companies are basically saying shit. You know, we 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 borrowing this money at such high interest. We got to cut back. That's basically. That's basically um, what these companies are having to do. So, so what? They're they're cutting, uh, cutting people. You know, people hours get cut. People getting told to go home. You know, different um, uh, sort of little intermediate positions are getting uh, taken away. Like before, you might have had a, a assistant manager. She, you don't ever see an assistant manager no more. You just see, uh, you know, employees and you see managers. You know, you don't really, there is no really a uh, ladder anymore or any sort of uh, quote unquote moving up in a company. All right, why? Because this place is through. You know, anytime you see that there's an increase in jobs, you know what type of jobs they are. Cap, you know, capital G, you know, big G uh, jobs, Uncle Sam jobs. You know, those are those are basically the only jobs uh, that you see. And like it's showing here, basically, if money is getting borrowed at a higher interest rate, then that means these different companies are going to cut back. The labor market is clearly softening and the Fed needs to step in to cut off tail risks. Which, no, not happening. There's not going to be any softening of any blow. It's not going to be you know, any sort of uh, relief is doing a full court press. The report seals the deal for a September rate cut, but the, but the big question really is whether the Fed goes big, which, you know, they can, they can cut what they want to cut. That's not going to stop uh, these things from coming to pass. This is going to come to pass that these these stores they're going to shut down. All right, brothers, we not going to be uh, working for too much longer. This 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 working shit is going to be a, a thing of the past. Coming real soon, man. See if it'll let's see if it'll show the comments. Okay, uh, it says the bond uh, the bond market has already done the Fed's work per usual. All right, so the bond, you know, the different stocks, the bonds. It's already, um, you know, this is just a trick and pony show. All right, they already know what, what they finna do. They, they finna turn up the heat. All right, these high interest rates and whatnot, these high, super crazy high interest rates, they're gonna continue to increase, right? Uh, insurance, that's gonna keep going up. Price for everything is gonna keep going up until these stores shut. And then they, they do what? They introduce that C hill. <clears throat> All right, so this is Isaiah 19 and 14. The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunk 
as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. And this fucking with this wicked perverse evil spirit. All right, this this e this damn evil e evil e. All right, the the physical counterpart to the spiritual demon Satan. This this place is all it, it, this place all fucked up. All right. And it's all, this is all set up and orchestrated by the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, it's the, it's the Lord, it's the Lord that's jacking this place up. Okay, even though the people, they don't, they don't want to admit it, it's the Lord that's jacking this place up, man. <clears throat> it's a lock, yeah, I'm actually start from the top. This is Isaiah 19 and 1. The burden of Egypt. All right, and this this is speaking um, about America. Because spiritually, this place is Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, Nineveh. Okay. Babylon. Uh, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. All right, which is that chariot. And shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Through. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. All right, which also in um, uh, Second Ezra, you know, it speaks about, um, you know, basically uh, Egyptian against Egyptian. All right. Uh, it says, and they shall fight. Every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor. So families are going to, you know, separate. All right. Friendships are going to separate. Um, you know, the scriptures also speak about the love of many uh, waxing cold. Uh, Matthew 24 and 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So ain't no, ain't no love out here. <laughs> like Jake like to say. Jake loves saying that. Ain't no love out here. Uh, Isaiah 19 and 4. Oh, it's like you. It's like you. Uh, Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. So it's an actual, you know, it's an actual spirit. It's an actual Babylonian, you know, you got to actually because, <laughs> you know, brothers will sit and think about it and meditate on it through the spirit. You know, you really got to have you know, just a folly spirit on you for you to love this place. You know, if you, if you in the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai, you trying to get the fuck out of here. Right? Swiftly. You know, the Lord is coming, the Lord is coming swiftly on that cloud, on, on that chariot, man. Uh, Isaiah 19 and 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof. So so who going to stand up against the Lord? You know, this it, it ain't it ain't going to be no sort of, you know, Avengers or, or any sort of, you know, super force that's going to be able to stop what the Lord got coming, man. The Lord, see, the Lord is coming with uh, what people would consider extra, extra terrestrial power. Okay, and not like uh, E.T. or Alien versus Predator. No, 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 no. We're talking about not, none of the chariots are going to uh, go down. None of the chariots are going to fail. Right. The Lord is going to have a flawless victory. 
Okay, uh, uh, Isaiah 19 and 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to wizards. Right, so they they're gonna you know they're gonna seek all the um you know all the left handed you know all, all the uh you know basically like the left hand they're gonna try to consult with the left hand. All right, and the Egyptians and the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord. And a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. And the water shall fail from the sea, and the river shall be wasted and dried up. Yeah, people are going to be uh, perishing out here. And they shall turn the rivers away, and the bricks of defense shall be emptied and dried up. The reeds and flags shall, shall wither. Yeah, so this place is going to get touched. The paper reads by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, and everything sown by the brooks shall wither, be driven away, and be no more. All the all the former, uh, all the former things is going to be done away with here. The fishers also shall mourn, and all they that cast angle into the brooks shall lament, and they shall spread nets upon the water, and they that spread nets upon the water shall languish. Moreover. They that work and find flax, and they that weave networks shall be confounded, and they shall be broken in the purposes thereof. All that make uh, sluices and ponds for fish. Surely the princes of Zoan are fools, and the counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh is become brutish. Right? So they, they thought, okay, they had a hold of this. They thought they, okay, they. All they got to do is consult the left hand and and just cruise into the sunset. But now the Lord got other plans, man. It says, I I am the king, Salakia. I am the son of the wise, the son of ancient kings. Where are they? Where are thy wise men? And let them tell thee now and let them know what the Lord of hosts hath purpose upon Egypt. The princes of Zoan are become fools. The princes of Noth are deceived. They have also seduced Egypt, right, through their uh, witchcrafts, right? Even, even they that are the stay of the tribes thereof. All right, so, you know, Jake, Jake had his hand in it too, two-thirds of Israel. Uh, the Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of Yan. <sighs> Jake, man, Jake. You see the average Jake, and you're like, what, what is going on? All right, it says, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. So this, so just everything about Jake is just, man, horrible. As a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. And there's nothing you can tell a man that's, that's that uh, toe up, man. You know, that nigga want to argue. And go in circles and go back and forth. That's just your average Jake. Okay, here in America. And abroad too, but you know, the main focus is here in America. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail branch or rush may do. So this this place is running out of work. This place is running out of projects and time and you know money. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and they shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he hath determined against it. And the Lord is going to send, hey, the Lord, you know, not only did the Lord send the prophets, the Lord is going to send them angels. Okay. And also the Lord going to have super demons out here. Yeah. Hey, the Lord said the spirits created for vengeance. All right. So that's, that's coming, man. All right. It says in that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear to the Lord of hosts. One shall be called the city of destruction 
In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors. Yeah, you fucking oppressors. You fucking devils. You got us in the worst, lowest estate. Yet the Lord, you know, has revealed the most, you know, to the men of Yahweh, Shemiah, Shiloh, will we be those men starting off with the elder apostles on down. He's given us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, right? The, the most upgraded version, so to speak. You know, like the elder apostle Har constantly says that, okay, we know we know more through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, about the prophecies and, and about what's going on. We know more now than, than we did, you know, 2,000 plus years ago when our Lord was on the scene, right? Th those different prophecies, okay, that were being written in the Old Testament, some of those are still coming to pass, you know? So you, all you niggas who's, who talk about, okay, they only believe in the New Testament, you going off, man. Both Testaments, like, what? what's the big deal? What's the big deal with, with <laughs> not including both Testaments? How are you going to have the New Testament, but not the Old Testament. You need both of the Testaments. You, that's ridiculous, man. Like, Jake don't see that he being oppressed. Jake don't see that he's being deceived. Right? Uh, continuing uh, Isaiah 19 and 20. And he shall send them a savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. Yeah, so fuck y'all. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. All right. Our oppressors. Because guess what? The Lord gonna come get us. You ain't gonna have us forever. You really fucking thought you was gonna have us forever. You goddamn devils and you heathens. Okay? You really thought you was gonna have us here. And hey, and two-thirds of Israel. Y'all really thought y'all was gonna be here for just forever. Like we was just gonna be in America. Hell no. No, the Lord got better plans for us. We're, we are the Israelites. Why are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Right? You speckled birds who may look like the other nations. Yet, if your line goes back to the nation of Israel, then you're an Israelite. Right? This is for you. All right? So, hey, forget the oppressors, man. Fuck them. Let the multitude perish. They're going to die anyways. All right. It says, and he shall send them a savior. And a great one. All right. And he shall deliver them. Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai. We need Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai. We need him to come save us. That's the only way we're going to make it out of here. All right. And the Lord shall be known to Egypt. And the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day. And shall do sacrifice and oblation, yea, they shall vow a vow unto the Lord and perform it. And the Lord shall smite Egypt, he shall smite and heal it, and they shall return even to the Lord, and he shall be entreated of them, and shall heal them. The elect, man. In that day shall there be an shall there be a highway out of Egypt to Assyria, and the Assyrians shall come into Egypt and the Egyptian into Assyria, and the Egyptians shall serve with the Assyrians. And that day shall Israel be the third with Egypt and with Assyria, even a blessing in the midst of the land. All right, so, ju hey, so just like before, that same, you know, fucking servitude that we served in Egypt, we basically serve in just a combination. Like all the captivity, <laughs> all the captivities combined into one, and we got the shit beat out of us. You know, and and we, we they they didn't want to give us the name. They didn't give us the name. It's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimei Shai that we got the name of the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father, His Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, because if, if it was up to these heathens, man, we would still we would still be in a dumb estate. You know, and the Wadi Yahweh Shimei Shai. All right, uh, Isaiah 19 and 25, it says, Whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, 
Blessed be Egypt, my people, and Assyria, the work of my hands, and Israel, mine inheritance. So you see that third part right there. Okay, that's that's what shows that this is speaking about the elect of the nation of Israel. Let's go uh, once again. Isaiah 19 and 25, it says, whom the Lord of hosts shall bless. So it's the Lord that's going to bless us. Lord's will we be of the elect. Saying, blessed be Egypt, my people. All right, so really that's speaking about the elect of the nation of Israel that are, that are fucking stuck down here, okay, in this spiritual Egypt, right, and spiritual Assyria, all right? Uh, it says, in Assyria, the work of my hands. The Lord did that. The Lord put us in these different captivities, right? The, the work of my hands. And you know, and we we made all these different uh, empires great. The Egyptian, you know, empire, the Assyrian empire. You know, it was through the hands of Jake, man. It's, it was through, and this place as well was built, you know, off of the backs of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it's maintained right now currently by you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Let the Israelites not go to work. This place is, and that's why this place is coming to a grinding halt. All right, uh, once again, the uh, spirit just got me uh, going over it again. Isaiah 19 and 25, it says, Whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people. So the elect of the nation of Israel that are currently, you know, just, I'm going to just say trapped. We, we just trapped here. <laughs> Waiting for our Lord, man. Blessed be Egypt, my people, and Assyria, the work of my hands, and Israel, mine inheritance. You know, we have we have a, a blessing coming. The Lord is coming with healing in his wings, a blessing. Right? He's coming with forever. You know, forevermore. And we're gonna be in perfect bodies. Our Lord is will we be of the elect. We're going to be the governing body of the kingdom of heaven. You know, up under the direct order of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Lord's will. All right, so with that, Lord's will, you are edified. Call halal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Ha'abrakakwadash. Double honors once again to the elder apostles of Gray Millstone. All right, elder apostle Tahar, elder apostle Kabar, elder apostle Racha, elder apostle Aramla. Okay, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua, the elder bishops, you know, uh, you know, regional uh, heads, up and coming officers, you know, you know, heads of camps, elder brothers, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua, you know, you, bro you brothers out there on the highways and byways, uh, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua, in truth and sincerity, you know, teaching the one true doctrine. You know, to you brothers that are out there uh, by yourself, okay, keep pushing through the spirit and power of Yah Bashim Yah Shai. Okay, the words of Yah Bashim Yah Shai, the proper doctrine, you know, how you know, teach what was taught. All right, and, and the Lord is coming back soon. All right, Shalom.